What is up guys, Johnny here. In today's video, we look at the best build for pistol ribbon farming. This is the build that Shelter used to get to the number one spot on the leaderboards. At first glance, this build might look a bit weird, but if you look into it, everything has a purpose and I will explain it in today's video. Before we start, this video might be addressed for more experienced players. If you're new to the game, and if you don't know what ribbon farming is, Make sure you watch my other video, I will link it in the description. But basically, ribbon farming is when you repeat the same mission over and over again, uh, trying to just kill a bunch of enemies really fast with your pistol. That way you get easy ribbons and easy fame. What's particular in the mission that uh, Shelter used is there's a lot of enemies at the end. And what he did to get a lot of fame quick is... Uh, after the enemies have stopped spawning, he would kill himself with the rocket launcher and then he would just reload at the checkpoint and then have another swarm of enemies without having to redo the whole level. So let's start with the weapons. Uh, he's using the Mother's Promise pistol. If you don't have the legendary pistol, I really recommend you farm for it first. It drops in the Voltaic Fist dungeon but it might rotate after the next update. If you want to farm fame without this pistol, you could go with your highest damage pistol. At secondary, is using a multi-rocket launcher. You can use pretty much any uh, multi-rocket launcher that you have. And the primary weapon does not matter. Usually what you would do here is equip one of the weapons that you want to unlock perks. Now let's take a look at the gear. We're going to start with the boots and the chest. On the boots, you are looking for boots with no explosion resistance or as low as possible with the 2% explosion resistant perk. If you have any point in the survival tree and if you have extra health anywhere else, you will not die with one bullet on the rocket launcher. That means you might have to use two to kill yourself and that's gonna really reduce the efficiency of your farming. Because if you run out of rocket launcher ammo, you will have to let some enemies live to kill you at the end. And it's gonna be slowing you down a little bit. Now for the chest piece, you will see that he used a chest piece with zero extra health percentage. All the perks are auto heal. If you have extra health on the chest, again, you will not be able to kill yourself with only one rocket launcher hit. You will have to use two. The pants now is very important. He is having the 23% extra pistol clips. That makes a huge difference because on the Mother's Promise, uh, even if you have all the perks unlocked, you only have 11 bullets in the clip. But with these pants, you're going to have 12 bullets. That makes a big difference in the efficiency of your farming because on the last shot, you will still shoot two bullets instead of one. Uh, you do more damage, you kill more enemies faster before you reload. That's gonna make a difference because you will have more exterminator ribbons in the long run. Now the gloves, he's using a 2% damage instead of crit gloves. If you watch his video or if you watch my video from yesterday, you will see that he rarely goes for the headshots. He goes for the more safer body hits. So 2% damage will deal more damage overall than crit. But also he's using a high pickup radius perk. The high pickup radius perk is important. It could make a difference also in the long run. Because often you will kill enemies on the other side of the barrier. And you cannot pick up these uh, extra secondary ammo that drop there. But if you have a high pickup radius. If you walk very close to the edge. Sometimes it will pick up the ammo. And it will save you a lot of time. Lastly on the shoulder. All you care about is crit damage. Because anything else you can get on the shoulders is loot percentage, but you're not farming loot, you're just farming fame. And the selling perk does not matter. So if you don't have high crit shoulders, you can go for rare shoulders with double crit perks instead of uh, epic shoulders with lower crit. Now let's look at the skills. It is very obvious that you need the Gunslinger passive skill. It increases your pistol damage by 50%. It used to be 100%, but now 50% damage on the pistol also on top of that pistol accuracy 
and 5% reload speed is going to increase your farming efficiency. I don't think you can farm as fast as he does without the gunslinger. So if you don't have it, wait for the skill respec on the next update. Now on the agility tree, it's pretty obvious you're going to need the ultra reload because in between the first five kills and the next five kills, if you're wasting too much time reloading, uh, you're going to miss a lot of exterminator ribbons. And definitely you need the supercharger skill. It doubles your damage for 10 seconds. So the first five kills are going to be super fast. And again, uh, more pro pistol ribbons at the start and more exterminator ribbons. On the combat three is using the stunner. I don't know if it is really important, but in the cases that when you use the stunner, you save yourself from being hit. Well, you're going to get more dodger ribbons. Dodger is when you get 30 kills without taking any damage. On the survival tree, I don't think you should spend any points, even though I have here, because it increases your overall health and it's going to slow you down a little bit. Now, for the mission, um, it is an intel run on the first planet, and the location of that intel run has to be up on the planet. If you have an intel run lower, it's not going to be the right level. So what I suggest you do is, if you're looking for that mission, if you already have another mission on that spot, you should complete it, just so you no longer have a mission there. And then go on your intel run if you have one, and start doing intel run non-stop until you get an intel run mission on that spot now what you have to do is launch that mission and look for the right one because there's three different layouts so you load the mission and if you don't have the right layout you have to exit and load it again and you might have to do that five six maybe ten times if you're not lucky until you get the right layout but like i said there's only three different possibilities so let's see what i have here so if you see here at the start a box with some uh, some grill uh, reload, this is not the right layout. All right, that's a good one. This is the one you're looking for. It has uh, two set of stairs at the start and the door in front. So let's go. All you gotta do is uh, progress forward, just kill everything. Another reason why I choose SMGs is because on my Fame Hunter missions for Hakim, I need to get uh, 750 kills with the SMG. So I'm just doing many things at the same time. Alright, so I'm already at the last part of the level. Just got four enemies here, two grunts, a flying thing and uh, the shielder they decide to do some damage if you can avoid the damage i'm just lazy right now but if you can avoid the damage you're gonna have easier exterminator ribbons all right so you hack that thing go at the barrier and use your supercharger and just do like a bunch of kills as fast as you can rack up the pro pistol ribbon try to use your supercharger efficiently but here I think it's a bit of a fill. I still got exterminator though. So yeah, that's how you get the, the ribbons. You get a lot of pro pistol. More often than not, you will get the exterminator at the start. But then you're not going to get another exterminator. The, the only reason you get quick exterminator is because of the supercharger. But you also only get one supercharger per, per run because then you have to reload. And then you get supercharger again. See another pro pistol. So I'm gonna go for the big one first, I think. I could use a stunner here, but he was almost dead. Pistol kill. I might get another exterminator. Nope. It happens that you'll get. Oh, there's another exterminator, and I might go stunner this time. But I don't think, like, I already took damage, right? So, anyways, that was a okay run. So now I would have to kill myself again, but I'm out of uh, rocket ammo because one is not enough for me. So I would have to re or exit to the hub, claim my frame, and then try to find the mission again. The day I got my um, Nico Stopper, I farmed for uh, three hours or something. And I had almost all the perks unlocked except the last one, and it was at 74% or something. So, like, that's where I want to go with this, okay? It is, like, pistol 
fame farming is a very good way to unlock your perks on your weapons but it's a very boring way to play the game it's not how you want to play every day non-stop just to get top of the leaderboard i just bored myself recording this video uh it is not a way to have fun okay i like to play the game with friends i like to do dungeons i like to like co-op with people farming fame is ridiculously boring it's just it's cool to have it because it it makes these things faster and easier just unlocking the perks but then that's it if you just do that all day well if you're enjoying it cool for you but I don't think it's the way the game was meant to be played. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. I answered all the questions that you guys asked me. I hope it answered your questions. If there's anything else, uh, just post in the comment. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, watch my other videos. I'll be back soon. Take care.